It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Brew by Numbers and this is their 21 Pale Ale Citra. It's in a 440 milliliter can coming in at 5.2% ABV. Ignore the condensation on the can. It's come out of my fridge. It's very, very late spring here in the UK. So as soon as it comes out the fridge for half an hour or so, the beer hits the warm air all that kind of coldness condensates on the can. So it's not freezing cold, it's cold. It's a nice temperature to review the beer at. If you ask me to hazard a guess, it's probably about seven degrees, I reckon. That's perfect for my pale ale. So without further ado then, let's get this beer out. Whoa. Into a glass and see what we get. We've got a good little bit of smoke on the can opening. So I picked this beer up from Sainsbury's, it's part, part of their kind of relatively new craft beer launch of, of May 2022. If you're watching this in the future, it's probably worth, if you really want to try this, either hit Brew by Numbers website or check your local Sainsbury's to see if they still have it. What I would say is that the supermarkets, they rotate a lot of their beers these days. You'll see this for maybe six months or so, maybe a year at the most. And then they'll probably move it along. I don't want to use the word discontinued, but yeah, just 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 retired it a little bit. But it's brand new, so if you're watching this video relatively new, go and try it. It'll definitely be there. One finger white head, good levels of slow moving carbonation rolling through the glass. It looks fantastic. It really does. This looks like a breath of fresh air. Lovely straw coloured beer, nice and hazy. Yeah, this sounds right up my street. A classic American style pale ale with one of my favourite hops, Citra. The beer now, um, I, I went into the, when I did the unboxing video of this recently, um, I unboxed all of the, or unpacked them on, on, on YouTube, the Sainsbury's craft beer. I said, oh, they're already reduced. They're already reduced down to like £2 a can, £2.25 a can, which this, I think this one was about £2.50 in my local store, which is still very, very good. Um, somebody come on the comments box on YouTube and said, I work for Sainsbury's. It's just an introductory offer. So um, it's not that the beers have been reduced already. It's just an introductory offer to all of these brand new craft beers into Sainsbury's. Right, let's get the nose on this pale straw coloured beer then. Oh yeah, Citra. Yes, hops. Mmm, that smells delightful. Ah, oh, yeah, this, this takes me back to Oakham. Back in the day when Oakham first made their Oakham Citra. This this really is tremendous. A really lemony, grapefruity. Lemon meringue pie. Mm. A little bit of kind of light wafer-like malts coming through. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Balanced. That's going to be my word. The first word that comes out of my mouth after tasting the beer is balanced. It's balanced between a, a slightly bready malt, a slightly wafer, biscuity-like malt that you first kind of get when you taste the beer. Maybe some oats as well. Maybe a slight oaty flavour. And the oats would be a damn good bet. I'm definitely tasting oats. You can see the... That haze can only really be created by adding 
some oats to the beer. So oats do two things. Uh, first of all, if you make oats porridge or oats in the morning in a pan, you'll see the kind of creaminess left on the pan. That's, that's the oat residue. That's the creaminess left in the pan. If you put oats into a beer, that kind of creaminess makes, makes its way into the beer. It gives incredible mouthfeel, which this beer has, and a, like a misty haze like this has. This is definitely an oaty, misty haze from... Brew by numbers and the oats and the beer. So we've talked a lot about the malt and the oats. The citra comes through nicely on the back end. It comes through nicely. It's a very balanced beer. It's not crazily hop with citra. Who makes that beer saturated in citra? It might be Dea. Now, there's two types of craft beer these days. There's the supermarket craft beer that offer you like an entry level into craft beer, which is which, which this very much is. Or you can pay a couple of pound more for a can, so you'd be paying about four pound fifty, five pound fifty for a can of beer. That will be literally the example I just used. Day is saturated in citra. It will be a citra bomb. You'll be tasting so much citra that it'll be kind of like coming out your ears. Lots of people love that in the craft beer world, in the craft beer industry, including myself. If you're used to that, and you buy this Citra by, by Brew by Numbers, there's no doubt you're going you're gonna to know the difference. You're going to know the difference from like a scaled back, kind of budgeted, getting this beer on the supermarket shelf for £2.50. It's economics, isn't it? You, can, you can't put £5 worth of hops into a can of beer for argument's sake, and then sell it for £2.50. The economics just doesn't add up. But you can kind of likewise do that for a £4.50 can of beer. You can put £4 worth of hops in and, you know, and it's going to taste, I mean, great, isn't it? It's going to be fantastic. So I'm just trying to be fair here. I'm, try I'm trying to be fair. I'm going to say, look, if you've got £2.50 in your hand, we're all going through this kind of cost of living thing at the moment, 2022. You can't really afford your day uh, saturated in citra anymore. And you need to scale things back a little bit. Then then what I would say to you is don't go into the... Don't go into opening your can of craft beer and pouring it out in, into thinking this is going to be like a day of saturated in citra. Because it's not. It's not. <coughs> Pardon me. It, it's a... It's a it's a scaled back version. It's more of a balanced version. When I talk about balance in a pale ale or an IPA, I'm generally being diplomatic, if you want to use the word. If you if if you kind of watch my reviews and you're like, oh yeah, he's talking about balance, so so that you're picking up a lot of the malt. If you're picking up a lot of the malt in a pale ale or an IPA, then you know that the hops are not really kind of added enough to lean it over into being a really hop forward beer. It's not kind of like leaning over with a big bucket of hops over here. It's kind of more balanced. It's more over here. I hope I'm making sense. I hope I'm making sense. I think generally what I'm trying to say here is you get what you pay for. You get what you pay for. It's enjoyable. It's nice. You definitely get a good kick of citra hop. But it's not like visiting your local bottle shop and, 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 and really enjoying something 
rather ex you know rather expensive rather extravagant if you like some of these beers are extravagant some of these beers some of these imperial stouts sell for nine or ten pound a can you know it, it, it's wherever you are in the Richter scale of life I suppose There's enough citra hop in there. There's enough citra hop in there for me to say that it's a it's a it's a decent beer for the money. For your two pound fifty, it's a decent beer for your money. If that's just an introductory price and it goes back up to three pound or three pound fifty, then I'd probably be like 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 starting to twitch a little bit. I hope it stays at that introductory offer because I don't think it's worth much more than that. But anyway, I've talked enough. There's still some beer in here. I've talked enough about the beer. Um, go and try it yourselves. Brew by numbers, 21 Pale L Citra. I like it enough for your money. I like it enough to give it, I reckon, a 7 out of 10. So 7 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.